it is, BHD Army. It's your Will Blast from this HD, and today we're here to watch a video called Five Creepy Pastas based on video footage. We very well might be fucking up right now because hopefully it doesn't uh, contain real video footage. Now, if you guys want to watch the original video, uh, the link is in the description down below, which of course leads to Top 5 Unknowns YouTube channel, which is where this video is from. Make sure to go check him out if you want to watch this video in its entirety as we do tend to chop parts out. You know, so if you want to watch the whole entire video, you got to watch it on Top 5 Unknowns channel. Twiz- shit. I almost said twist. We're going to edit that out. I meant Lego. Y'all know what I said. As if oh, creepypastas no. were not terrifying enough, these ones are accompanied by hell some video evidence. No. In this no. video, we take a look at some creepy footage in which creepypastas and urban legends were based on. Some of no. the videos are unexplainable, so you can decide whether they're real or not. No. Number 5. Disneyland Ghost We might not make it through this whole video. We fucked up by watching this. We fucked up. This might be really Visions actually are scary. There have even been reports of several people scattering ashes at the California location. Dirty this can be verified as an incident occurred in the haunted mansion back in the 1990s. Several deaths have been reported at Disneyland. They range from impaling to drowning and even being crushed to death. Due to all the death and misfortune that has occurred at the park, many urban legends. Who the fuck made these costumes? Really, nigga? Huh? These niggas look like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse as serial killers out this bitch. Is this what's good in the streets right now? You're gonna give kids nightmares out this bitch. I wouldn't hug that shit if I was five. I wouldn't hug that shit as an adult. Who commissioned this shit to be made? Who the fuck did this? Visitors report hundreds of ghost sightings every year. Here are just like some ghost. of the spirits that have been reported. Oh, that does Space look like Mountain's a ghost. Mr. Okay. One Way. This ghost has been described as a large man who has red hair. He is said to have been seen sitting next to the single riders on Space Mountain. Once the ride ends, the man disappears leaving the visitors baffled and scared. It's believed that in the 1970s, two young boys had stayed in the park after it closed. They had been on Tom Sawyer's island and tried to leave it by swimming across the rivers of America, but unfortunately, the older boy died. Members of staff have reported seeing his spirit reflecting in ripples of water. The most notable ghost case is of Debbie Stone. Debbie was a former employee who was crushed to death on the America Sings ride back in the 1970s. The fuck? After her death, the ride closed. Many people have reported seeing her ghost in Tomorrowland. There's been several videos released of ghost sightings in Disneyland. No. Nope. Most of them consist of security footage. This video Nigga, I saw was posted this shit. to YouTube no. in 2009. I saw this fucking shit. Fuck this. Niggas wonder why I don't go to Disneyland. Nigga, fuck Disneyland, Disney World. Anything parts to tell you the truth, I don't fuck with rides already, okay? And this shit just helps my case. Nine. It supposedly shows a ghost wandering around no. Disneyland after closing fuck hours. That. People have speculated that it might have been a technical error. No. Nope. Some stated that the Technical error in my ass, nigga. This shit walked from camera to camera. Really? 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 Technical the error. Might have been reusing VHS tapes, which would cause previous footage to leak through. No. However, there has been no official explanation to what caused no. the sighting. Number no. four. God damn it! Fucking cats! My cats jump on high shit and then they jump down, but when they jump down it makes this loud ass fucking thud, nigga. I'm watching fucked up shit right now. I can't deal with the noise. But the cats are assholes. Creepypasta started circulating on the web in 2009. Before we explain the video footage, we must tell you the story behind it first. A man went to a friend's party. It took place in a rented out loft within an industrial part of town. After having one too many drinks, the man decided to lay down for a bit and ended up falling asleep. His ass got Bill cosby out this bitch. <laughs> Bill Cosby, because it's, it's, it's gonna wake up with all types of burritos in his ass or whatever it is. Bill Cosby uses on people. Oh. <laughs> he woke up at 4 a.m. It was still dark out, but some buildings were visible in dim blue light. While waiting for her to arrive, the man stood near a window and watched out for her car. Fucking he up. then started to fall asleep. This is when a crashing sound woke him up. He scanned the area, but didn't see anyone. This is when he noticed a pile of garbage bags near a dumpster across the road from him. Near the dumpster was a computer and a smashed monitor. His girlfriend arrived shortly after. 
Before leaving, he remembered that his friend needed some computer parts, so he went over to the wreckage to see what he could salvage. The monitor was broken, but the tower seemed to be in good condition, so he loaded it into the car. There seemed to be barely anything on it. He then came across a hidden file called barbie.avi. This is where the video footage comes into play. He played the video. It was about an hour long. It showed a woman sitting on a chair against a backdrop while talking to someone. During the video, she starts to get quite upset and explains that she is unhappy with her skin. Later on, she begins to cry on uncontrollably and this continues until the tape finishes. There is then some very short extremely shaky footage of train tracks which lead to a forest. The man recognized the tracks and realized they were only a few miles away from his house. He decided to go investigate so made his way to the track. See, yep, that, see that word has led to a lot of people getting fucked the fuck up, okay? It's a word that I never use. It's worse than curse words. Investigate. No. Don't look for shit. Damn that. Shit went down. You got yourself a free computer. Exploring always leads to death. Why you think Dora the Explorer's off the air? Huh? Some fucked around and been murdered by some shit in the forest. Me personally, I think it was Swiper. But this shit happened in the forest. You don't explore shit. Okay? Investigating is a no-no. It is the no-no. Fuck it up. No. He mustered up the courage to enter the building. No. The inside was very decayed, but had new furniture. He From then, see, anytime you gotta muster up courage to do shit, courage, that is basically your survival instincts, nigga. When your body says, hey, don't do that, and you're like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm strong, I'm gonna do that, you're basically committing suicide is what you're doing. Because, cur because not being courageous is your body's way of surviving longer than all the people who are brave. Brave people die the quickest, unless you're in a scary movie, in which case it's usually black people and airplanes or elevators. First things always to crash or die. He made his way to the bathroom. He had noticed that somebody had wiped the dust off the mirror. He then looked into the bathtub and saw a plastic sheet with water droplets on it. No! Suddenly he heard a loud moan, so fled from the house. So that was the story behind the footage. Now where's for the footage? Many people on the internet have analyzed the footage and some theories have stemmed. During the video, the letters BIID can be seen. This might stand for Body Integrity Identity Disorder. This is a psychological disorder in which a person believes that a body part does not belong to them, therefore they remove it. Now this would make sense as we can see that the woman in the video was missing an arm. As she was complaining about her skin, could this be the next thing to be removed? After much research and analysis, there has been no actual explanation to where the video came from or who the woman is. So the theories could possibly be true. Number three. Oh my God, thank you so much for not showing the footage, bruh. I was for real thinking about skipping past that shit, dude. I can't do that. I ain't about to do that shit, man. Well, fuck my whole day up, man. I got things to do. I can't do that. Nope. Have your boy scared to go to a public restroom right this bitch. Obey the that. walrus. This oh, video no. started to circulate on the, the internet The fuck is wrong with this crazy bitch? Firstly, it shows a character from a video game called Star Fox. The face which goes by the name of Andros starts to sing a distorted version of the nursery rhyme Itsy Bitsy Spider. It then transitions to a clip of a person tap dancing. The clip is very unsettling and has a creepy vibe to it. Once the video started to gain popularity, a strange story began to spread about it. The story claimed that the video was created by a Latin American cult known as La Morsa. This translates to the walrus. The person in the video is actually a transsexual by the name of Johnny Beimer. The clip is taken from a 1998 film titled The Goddess Bunny. As for the story, it was made up entirely just to spread fear. I guess somebody was just really bored. Number two. What the fuck? That's just weird. I feel like I might have to find that footage now. I don't think I should. I think that's me fucking up. Yep, that's me having courage, which is obviously going against my survival instincts. I almost fucked up just now. I'm not, I'm not going to do it, children. I'm not about that life. <laughs> Damn that. Two, Gateway of the Mind. This oh, creepy hell no. refers back to the 1980s. Supposedly in 1983, a team of scientists conducted bizarre experiments on a willing participant. What the the fuck? experiments was conducted at an undisclosed facility. The scientists theorized that a human without access to any senses or ways to perceive stimuli would be able to come in direct contact with God. Every sensory nerve connection to the brain was surgically severed. The man could not see, hear, taste, or smell. Here is supposed footage of the scientists monitoring the man. After a few days, the man claimed that the deceased would speak to him and couldn't get them to go away. After a few more days passed, it seemed like the man was going through some state of psychosis. This is when he began to start shouting and screaming. 
he then uttered the phrase, I have spoken with God and he has abandoned us. Well, that was a creepy pastor. The footage included was also supposed real footage of the experiment. Yeah. However, sensory deprivation is a real thing. There are places that offer flotation tanks. These are tanks that you lay in. The tank has water inside it which contains salt so that you float. The water is also at body temperature so you cannot sense that it's there. The tank is also soundproof and there is no light from the inside so most of your senses are cut off. While in the tank hallucinations occur, many have described the experience that of similar to taking hallucinogenic drugs. Number one. Damn that! And that is why your boy does not do coke. It's just not a good joke. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would not fuck with that man. Damn that shit. I've never done drugs and I'll be damned if I get into a tank that that makes me feel like I am doing the shit. I'm not I'm not about that life. You know, fuck that shit. That's why your boy is why why can't motherfuckers just sleep in beds like regular people? What is up with all this extracurricular shit motherfuckers is doing? I don't I don't understand it. Michigan's Dogman. This Dogman is pretty much Michigan's Bigfoot. You mean to tell me somebody out here is fucking animals and one gave birth? Or did animal fuck the dude? Or the chick and she gave birth? That's wild. Creature that stood upright like a man but had the head of a gray wolf. Oh, Sightings have been seen all over Michigan of a no. half dog half man type creature. In 1987 a poem started to spread about the creature. It goes like this. Summer in the northward darkness a creature walks upright and the best advice you may ever get is to never go out at night. Many people started to phone the station claiming that they had seen the dog man. Due to the reports, police had actually began an investigation. Damn. Many years later, a recording was released which is believed to have captured the dog man. That's the recording is dog. known as the Gable film. It shows a family simply filming their day out in the woods to capture some memories. For a few seconds in the film, a strange dog-like creature can be seen in the woods. The footage is extremely shaky, but when you slow it down, you can see some sort of figure. Some claim it's just a bear. Many other photos have been released of what is believed to be the Dogman. Nigga, that's still a little damn dog, man. Even up till this day, of people claiming that the Dogman is hiding in Michigan's woods. That shit does not look like no damn dog, man. And add this with injury, man. Like, there's gotta be stuff scarier than a half man, half dog. I don't even understand why anyone would be scared of that shit. Damn that. This just lets you know that whenever you go anywhere, make sure to carry the heat. A burner. The clip. Fuck that shit. I need to get me a fucking gun, man. <laughs> I watched too, watch too much scary shit. But yo, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go check out the top five of unknown. If you want to watch this video in all its entirety as we tend to chop parts out, link is in the description down below, which also leads to the top five of unknowns channel. Make sure to watch some of his other videos, subscribe and whatnot. Twizzle.